often dreamed of a far off place where a great warm welcome will be waiting for me, where the crowds will cheer when they see my face, and the voice keeps saying, I have no idea if I'm going in the right direction. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's good. A fair bit of pedestrian traffic, but I have made it to Shanghai Disneyland. Kind of, it's over there. Oh, wow. In the park, and I can see all the people taking advantage of the cool photo opportunities, but the first thing to take note at Shanghai Disneyland is that you don't enter on a main street. No. This is Mickey Avenue, and it's a lot shorter than what Main Street USA is, but still just as charming. We also have Zootopia here at Shanghai Disneyland. It opened earlier this year, I believe, January 2024, so it's a brand new trackless dark ride. So I'll check that out later. Oh my days, would you look at that. Hello, Stephen. Also, another thing to note, the plaza area in front of the castle, what would usually be the hub, is enormous. It's a lot more open than what you've got at like Magic Kingdom, Disneyland Paris, and most notably, Blooming Rides. And another Blooming Ride. What the flip is Dumbo doing here? He's meant to be flying around Fantasyland. I'm gonna have to get on a ride before I really lose my call. Oh, bubbles. I'm actually fluent in Mandarin, and that, if I'm not mistaken, says subscribe to Sam Costello. And that he would greatly appreciate it. Adventureland? Nope. Adventure Isle? This park is absolutely enormous. Look at all of that. Literally, I don't think footage actually does that justice. I feel like you could fit all of Fort Park just in that lake. Talk about sunken gardens. Oxford versus Cambridge. I'm looking for the Pirates of the Caribbean ride to do first because that's one of... What's my hair doing? Ignore that. It's one of the most technologically advanced boat rides or dark rides in general in the whole world. It took the concept of all of the other Pirates of the Caribbean rides and added new technology which... Oh, hold the fort. It's literally just there. I'm speechless, I'm so excited. I just want to like jump in the water and swim. I can't swim though. Anyway, Pirates of the Caribbean was 
I'm, I'm speechless. It was amazing. Hard to compare it to the other Pirates rides, but that is definitely one of my favorite dark rides in the world. And the reason I say dark ride rather than specifying it as a boat ride is that the ride system felt more like an advanced dark ride like the amazing adventures of Spider-Man at Universal in the way that you were transported through show scenes and you moved around quite freely to uh, tell the story. Nice, more bubbles, I proper love bubbles. Come back! And also making it more like a dark ride than a traditional pirate's boat ride, you didn't have so much of a splashdown, just a little drop with an airtime hill and no splash, you didn't get wet. But that didn't, that, that didn't take away from the experience. I enjoyed it. Oh, we've got Orbitron, whatever you call that, and then Tomorrowland. And the person, hello, ni hao, let's start again. We have Tomorrowland, and I'm not gonna lie, this is the most Tomorrowist Tomorrowland. It's only little. Literally, it's the three rides, the Orbitron, the regular Tron, uh, oh, it just went, and I missed it. Yes. And then Buzz Lightyear somewhere shooting Zerg. Buzz Lightyear, he's right here. Whoa! Tronophon. I don't know why no one's down here, but that's the launch track for Tron. And obviously it goes up there into the canopy. But am I meant to be here? There's no one else here. Come on, Tronny boy. Well, I didn't get told off, so it must just be okay. Anyway, I'm now gonna go help Buzz. Shoot Zerg. Ah, oh, missed. Feels like Black Mirror Labyrinth. Oh, I imagine I just queued an hour and a half for a mirror mate. Not quite a mirror maze though. So I'm not gonna lie, you just watched an on-ride POV of the identical Tron light cycle run over at Magic Kingdom because here they do not allow... Oh, sorry, I forgot my manners. Bye-bye. <laughs> they don't allow for on-ride filming here at Shanghai Disneyland, so you got the same experience. And as before at Magic Kingdom, it's got a punchy launch that almost has two parts to it. It has a nice kick to it at the start, but then it just keeps going. Speaking of the devil, here it comes. Slow down, son. That castle is absolutely massive. Cinderella, you need an extension, mate. <laughs> they do also have this obstacle course slash high ropes activity that goes all around this big mountain slash waterfall and a lot of adventure aisle. It's really cool, I did give it a go, but I couldn't bring you along for the journey. Uh oh, pedestrian traffic, pedestrian traffic. 
They do have a slightly smaller fantasy land here, but at the back of the park, just behind Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, we've got Zootopia. Oh, no way you got a queue to get in. Genuinely thought that was the mine train broke down. Oh, brolly. I'm in, and despite being a mini land, they do only have the one attraction, that is Zootopia Hot Pursuit. On my right, that's a great view for you. And then they've, of course, got a few other food outlets and a gift shop, obviously. <laughs> I'm genuinely blown away by all of this demon. This is incredible. And just over, there's trees in the way. Come with me, brains. Yeah, that's definitely an elephant. And that's definitely like, oh no, this is a duck. Typical, all the trains are coming earlier. Now, no trains, just like TFL. Everyone going to work? Oh, and there's the train. Quality. There's actually just stuff to see everywhere. Oh, you're having a giraffe. Sorry. The big boss. We're in trouble now. Let's go catch some bad guys. No? Okay. And the, the chase sequences genuinely felt quite intense. Actually amazing. And just look at this area around me. Yeah, that's okay. That is okay. Oh, look at that. Anyway, that'll do for my video here at Shanghai Disneyland. It was amazing. Thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Ciao, legends. Whoa. Oh yeah, bye. That was good, wasn't it? Please, sir, can we have some more? You don't have to call me, sir. But here's your link. Click it. Sir Punalot would sound cool, though.